welcome to Loving, Loving Life. Life. And today we're having Russian zakuski or Russian feast, Russian cold uh, side dishes or uh, starters. So let's get started with this. Woohoo! So yeah, I'm not sure if you know, but Russian have all um, course in the meal that called uh, zakuski or starters or appetizers, which is usually very elaborate. So today we are having only three ideas of what you may have only as a starter for the whole meal. Where so this is, if you know, this is shuba or a uh, herring under furry coat. This is very much Russian holiday feast um, salad or, you know, appetizer. This is a cheesy uh, pancakes, but I will talk about them a little bit later. And this is basically tuna salad stuffed in tomatoes. This is uh, Things that are stuffed are very common in, uh, for uh, holiday feasts. So basically now we are kicking our holiday season with this feast. So yay to this. Celebrate, celebrate good, good times. times. Come, Come on. What are you celebrating? Good time. Come on. It hurts a good night. So I was like, <laughs> I need to sleep. <laughs> yes, I do. But and? And, and obviously we're having the sparkling, the amazing, the sweet. Pomegranate juice. <laughs> well, it's also apple sparkling. Yes. Yeah, it's apple pomegranate juice. We are very... Um, fake champagne. Yeah, fake champagne basically. Is this actually... For, um, because this is made in France. So yes. We have a French champagne thing. is actually... French, French thingy. This is made in France. There you go. Literally, it says on the... I'm, I'm afraid because I'm afraid how... Um, if, how much of uh, it shake then... I hope you didn't shake it too much. It's a cork! Oh my! A metal... Okay! Did it used to be like that? Obviously it's kept down by a huge cork! Yeah. Ten, nine, something... I'm always, I'm always afraid that it will, you know, pop and... Uh, we forgot something. the cork opener. No, it's not the cork opener. It's actually this cork opened like this. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was afraid. I was afraid. Me it? too. Shh, oh my it. god, the smell. Smell it. Smell it. Ah, divine. Ready? So yeah. Uh, Russian meals usually start with huge spread of cold or and sometimes warm appetizers. And uh, on the and oh, it's that's not a, everyday yeah. meal that's usually. Good. It's the meal of the like holidays and usually the spread is just endless by which I mean endless there we go yeah dun 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 so cheers fam okay cheers fam cheers our internet family cheers for health happiness and joy and joy yeah. and everyday uh, celebration celebration of life Oh, oh man, so I love good. this one. I know, I love it Do you too. love it? Yeah. It's the best. This is the specific one. We buy it in yeah, Costco. Costco. But I love it with pomegranate the most. It, it comes in three flavors. It's comes in two. The first time... Two. I think there are two pomegranates. And, and one apple. pure apple. And one... No, and one peach and uh, pomegranate. One peach, one pomegranate, one pure apple. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Because I'm almost sure they're two... No, they change it. One pure Did apple Did they change it? Pure I have apple? no idea. I don't remember. Yeah, three different right. anyway. Anyways. So this is one. This is tuna sauce. Try? By the way, the first time they explained that it was with pickled herring, I was like, what? This is the pickled herring, see? Now he's loving pickled herring, so yeah. Now let's try, honey. Try with the pickle. You have to take with veggies and stuff. Yeah, I'm trying. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Mm. 
Mm. <laughs> not mm -hmm. this cup of not tea. Not your cake. Mm. Not your cup of not tea. Not too bad. You want the vanilla? No. I Be love it. Before it was too bad. It has a. It feels like a mayo sensation, and I'm not a fan of that. And honestly, there is no mayo inside for us. But shh, don't tell anyone. Yeah. By the way, I have a recipe of this one, and if I remember, I will link it in the description box below. Oh, Friendly, this one, it, Regina just. Uh, I'll explain. Okay. And they cheesy. Yeah. What I did with tomatoes, I basically took a tomato. And salt. Yeah, salt um, yeah. mm. will work with that. Yeah, and. Um, mm. Mm. You want? Mm, yeah. Give, give me you one. Want to try. Which one would you like? This one. I knew it. <laughs> so basically, me and Ariel, we have the tomatoes. We took the insides out. Do you want more? Because mm -hmm. it's hard to reach. Mm -hmm. mm. And we took the insides out, and then the, we boiled hard boiled eggs, and basically make tuna salad, and we put tuna salad inside. Regular tuna salad. Yeah, regular tuna salad. Not something special. No, no definitely not. Oh, my, my little salad. Mm. And we made this one fresh. The old-fashioned way. Well, the vegetables. Salt, please. Mm. Well, the veggies. Peel them. Yeah. Grated them. Mm. Because in some places you can actually buy. Mm-hmm. Actually, funny enough. When we visited Bulgaria, we could buy there was a Russian store in there. And they could buy it. Which mm -hmm. we didn't then. No, because... We well, make better, be. probably. Mm -hmm. You know why? It's not because they make it mm. bad. Bad or something, because obviously what you make homemade is fresher. Usually. Another thing, I'm not using mayo. I'm actually using um, Greek yogurt. No, it wasn't Greek, it was... Um, this... Um, Slovakian, Albanian, I'm not sure. It's a kind of Bulgarian kind of yogurt. Thick as well. I think one that I'm using. So, yeah. Mm. Okay, cool. What else? This is good, huh? Mm, really? Really cool idea. I think I ate a little bit too fast, though. Yeah. But it feels like a little slow in my throat. Yeah, I need to eat a little bit gentler. Yeah. Slower. I can use a knife to cut the pieces. Mm. I cut it in half. Oh, so good. What does not love this one? I didn't try it yet. Mm. Oh. I don't know. I think you need something, a sauce or something. Yeah, I know, I know what we need on top of it, but we don't have it. <gasps> what? Red caviar! Red caviar. Mm. Hmm. No. Actually, a little story time. I think it, to me it feels dry, so. Yeah. You want some kind of sauce? Do you want chalula? Ooh, chalula. I'm thinking about that. Yeah, sure. Can you um, get it? I'll go around. Can you go around? Yeah, I can. You move yeah. the table a little bit from the side, so now we can kind of move better. Usually, because the table is huge, our table is like humongous Your square, mind. so we have to stick it to the side so it won't take a lot of our space. But now it's kind of out. So, chili garlic. So yeah, you can squeeze red caviar. Yeah, I'm fine. Usually, mm -hmm. um, served with some type of pancake, yeah. whether it's a blini, bellini, which is a thinner, big, bigger pancake, or it's a blinchiki with a, with its smaller and thicker blini and sour and sour cream. The thing mm -hmm. is that it's very hard and very pricey. It's not so hard, like pricey, to come buy the um, red caviar. Yeah, yeah. every year gets more and more expensive. I think a couple of years ago we bought it for forty bucks a pound, right? We stopped it with thirty. Was it thirty at the beginning? No. You know what? It's it was in the one of the Russian groups in Vancouver. Eighty bucks per pound. We're like, uh, uh, no, yeah. no. It makes me. Feel a bit yeah. unsettled. So I made those cheesy with a little bit of cheese, a green onion, oh. a couple of eggs. So in the Cuban countries for black caviar, it's like 
130 for one tiny can, and then for like 500 cans, it's more than $3,000. There's a problem with sustainable black caviar in the world, so yeah. Actually, I mean, there is a few companies that make actually really good one. And then, um, I'm sure here on the Sunshine Coast. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But so expensive though. And here it's so expensive, even more than it, and almost anywhere else. So it is. Actually, um, as I was going to say, starts a little story time. When we were little, we ate me and Victoria black caviar by a teaspoon. A teaspoon. I think we, we told the story time quite I know, well. But I was but going to get to the other part of the story, mm -hmm. which we love. I love black. Sorry for using my hands. No, no, make it on the table. Well, I love black caviar. Uh, it, I, I adore it. I actually love red one too, but I was a kid, I definitely loved black one more. Mind you, haven't come buy a good black caviar from forever. Probably because nobody. Um, I think last time I, I, I really ate um, black caviar. Maybe like the, the good the good kind. Yeah. Maybe when I was a child. I don't know. I know. Mm -hmm. Once in um had a good one outside of um, USSR Ukraine for this. Yeah, years matter. ago we we tried to buy one in uh, a grocery store. It was like oh black caviar. Oh yeah, oh. right. That was a big mistake. It felt so artificial and fake. It was nothing. It was artificial. Nothing. It wasn't black caviar. It wasn't right. Well, we didn't no, know. No, no. We didn't know. So by the time we opened it, and ate it was like uh, yeah no. No good. No go. Mm. But about the red caviar. So when Ara was teeny weeny, you actually you actually love the red caviar. Mm, no. You call them uh, fish eggs. Well, that's well, it. Right? Is that how you call them? Yeah. yeah. Orange. No. Fish balls. Fish, fish balls. Ball. There you go. Fish balls. Exactly. Well, they're because based. it sounded different. Fish balls. No, orange balls. Orange balls. Orange balls. There you go. Oh, the memories. Orange balls, that's fine. It was very good. But then funny, as you grow up, you don't you don't appreciate it as much now. You don't really like it. Well, it depends. I like the sushi caviar, but that's not real caviar. The little um, teeny weeny there. Yeah. No, but from the herring that you made, um, I really love that caviar so much. That one I love. The herring that I've used here, Oh. I actually salted by myself. Yeah, and that's the one the, I like the, the eggs inside. Let me know if you want the recipe. I know that it's not the most popular popular recipe. Usually people don't do salted herring outside of uh, uh, former USSR denominations or USSR, you know, part of the world. But so good. Or maybe Netherlands. Maybe Netherlands, yeah. I would say maybe Poland as well. Mm. I thought East Europe maybe. Well, yeah, East, well, former USSR, East mm -hmm. Europe, sorry, yeah. So yeah, if you want to know how I make it... You can easily go up to um, Iceland and Greenland and also do this. Maybe. Because it's I really cold day I found, I found such an amazing, amazing recipe, but I totally, totally love it. Like the fish... But again, it's for whole fish with a bone inside, and I know that in North America, I'm not, I'm it's not, not the most... I'm not really a fan of the fish itself, but that's just me. It was the fish fry I loved. But they were eating the fish anyway, so... And actually, their favorite was the sperm of it, which you guys love. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, well, oh well. We're eating all the fish. What's so bad? Yeah, all of it. I mean, all of it. <laughs> I got. Um, We're not doing anything against the laws, so. I, got, uh, I guess it's fine. I got funny uh, <laughs> comment. Funny. It's not funny. Well, well. Or some type uh, along those lines. It was less polite that I will transfer, but someone along those lines. Oh, I like you guys, but this particular meal make me. Um, sick to my stomach and uh, different like in different videos, especially when we eat. Things like lamb brains and um, tongues, tongues yeah. and different. Let's not go for more extension. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I already said. But oh well, 
we were born in the part of the world that had no choice um, to eat everything. Yeah, and if we die, we'll eat all of it. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yep. Mm. Oh my, it's so good. Especially in Europe in general. They eat everything. They want more tomato? Mm. No, it depends where. No thanks. No thanks. Well, not everywhere, but a lot of Europe um, eats everything. Yeah, like a liver doesn't consider to be Weird such a all. big no-no. In a lot of um no. Definitely not. Again, I would think if you grow on a farm in Canada would eat probably some parts. I totally know that people do it. Everything. A lot of farmers eat I every mean, once in a while uh they eat everything that they have on the farm. Like exactly. literally everything. Yeah. The only part that they literally can't eat, they throw away, but Which, or give to their dogs. A lot of them feed sure. their dogs raw meat. And usually the bones, but they enjoy it mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. You want more furry thingy? No, I'm good. Little tiny pieces? Mm -hmm. No, actually, I'm really, really, really good. This is good meal. I like this type of meal. Mm -hmm. Like, usually, like when I try in other people's houses and etc., it's full of mayo, which is nice, but. Yeah, we stopped eating mayo. Well, not completely. Not completely, no, no. I really love mayo with my fries. Nothing you can do about that. I really I love it. When Ariel was born, we stopped eating mayo. Really. I didn't this, enjoy it at all. No, we didn't even mm. give you the option to enjoy it. Mm. We substitute to a healthier option and we you switched, yogurt. You switched it in um, most of the things to yogurt, yeah. Yeah, so everywhere, like, uh, the recipe calls for uh, mayo, mayo, especially in the Russian, because Russian use a lot of Russian salads, salads and side dishes. Um, Gives a lot of mayo. Uh, yeah, so not everywhere, but in most uh, recipes, most salads, I substituted it with uh, yogurt, like with plain yogurt. Yeah, and now I'm actually works. eating the salad with the mayo, it's kind of weird. It's not weird, but, like, it's different. It's intense. It's intense. It's more... Mm. Yeah, in Chalula it's not really. A... No, Russian. but I I thought it was a little bit dry and it needs. Some Mind you, lots of Russians don't need spicy stuff. No, and funny enough, there is a uh, one awesome, awesome, awesome sauce, which is plum based sauce from uh, Georgia, oh, and uh, unfortunately I can't find it. I need to find the recipe. Maybe mm. I will make it one day. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ta -da -ta 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 -ta. Mm. 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 It was good, isn't it? Mm. It's fabulous. So yeah. I need this bite. I think we will finish for today. What Here's do you baby. think? Uh, 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 uh. Which? This one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know why she did it, you know? In uh, in uh, our... For personal, for your education. Once you do zing, you have to drink it, you don't put it down. Yeah, yeah. I put it down as much as water, but I don't love it. <laughs> but no, but if you zing, you zing it, you have to drink it. I know, but yeah, you, it, you, it, 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 it's just a when you sing it. So, what we do it for nose, it's when someone doesn't drink, or kids usually, when they can't drink or you don't give, you know, your kids a drink, you do the nose because, I don't know, because it's just very cute and uh, it's make them involved in, uh, you know, family activities, I'm, I'm guessing. Yes. And it's very cute. And if and you make like a wish or something, so you kind of confirm it with the kid Confirm well. with the kid as well, as you know, with the nose. So Montreal that's usually hold water, but anyway. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so very much for being with us. It was I a wonderful thing you enjoyed family. this. Uh, actually, it was family effort to make all of this because Ariel helped uh, to, to, to scoop mash it out, eggs, you know, scoop it out, and all of this. Peel the eggs, peel the killing tomatoes. Everyone yes. was involved in this meal, so yeah, that was good. way to go. Way to go, fam. So thank you so very much, and don't forget to subscribe, write us a comment, thumbs up us, and cheers on life in life. And remember. And Remember? Go to my teacher and do something fun every day. Bye, love you. Very, very, very important. Mwah. Very important. Bye. 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 Bye.